on the other side of the fence, then you've got the givers, the people who go overseas and almost feel as though they have a um, missionary zeal about the whole situation. They, they want to go overseas and help out third world countries. Uh, they seem to target local communities where people are living rough. I mean, there's a guy in the Philippines, he does seem quite genuine about this. He's actually got himself a Filipino girlfriend and he, um, and he was living near a, a DOS house that was um, run by an extended family member. And these, this number of, number of families were under the one roof and, uh, and they got uh, evicted. So he decided to uh, start a building fund in a, in a relocated uh, place. So, uh, I mean, you know, a place like the Philippines, they've got so many social issues, you couldn't possibly solve them all. But I guess he's doing his bit and he feels good about it. And if he's genuinely doing it for, to improve the lot of humanity, well, good on him, it, it's good. But uh, some of the people, of course, that do this have got other agendas and they just want to big note themselves. And, um, so it's a combination. I mean, there are people that really do want to help people in third world countries who are under dis distress for whatever reason. There was someone in Vietnam that comes to mind. There's a Vietnamese um, slum area that, that uh, had a, a fire and, uh, and it burned out a lot of properties and someone decided to put the call out online for that, for people to help out. And I think it's great, you know. If that's all they, they're trying to do, I think it's fantastic. I just think that there are a number of people too who do it for uh, self-gratification um, more than uh, being a, uh, a humanitarian gesture. But, you know, you take the rough with the smooth there, and compared to the first category of people I mentioned, um, the givers are, are a great bunch, you know, and um, all power to them. So that's, that's one of the nice things about YouTube, people like that are around. Now, now we come to the dark side again, and this is a group of uh, YouTubers who I would uh, categorise as haters. It's an open platform, so if you've got a beef against humanity or a particular racial group, or uh, for whatever reason you've got you've got you've got a chip on your shoulder about fellow humanity, it's a fantastic way for you to vent your spleen and um, and uh, and spread the hate. Uh, not very healthy, I would have thought, but it's inevitable this is going to happen in an environment, a free environment such as YouTube. Um, and there's one particularly notorious guy from the Philippines, I don't even have to mention his name, because I'm sure a lot of you already know who I'm talking about. He has got himself an amazing reputation uh, for uh, basically uh, rubbishing other YouTubers, so it's not a very nice thing to do to, to people who are just basically putting content on but he's um, he's not backward at coming forward and look he may have well had mental issues and uh, and quite a few issues and uh, so again any anybody can come on there's no one culling these people out and uh, and this is the danger I guess you have but you know as long as no one's coming to physical harm it's more likely that he will come to physical harm because he's actually um, bad mouthing the locals in the Philippines and uh, you know there's some pretty rough people over there and they might take exception to that so he needs to be very careful um, but you know I, not everything he says is absolute garbage I've looked at his site it's up and down a bit he's, um, he's no oil painting but he does make some decent clips but he makes stuff that I would regard as being pretty out there so it's, it's a mixture so rough and smooth there